Hi and welcome to climbingarborist.com. In this video we're going to demonstrate a system called double block rigging. This double block rigging system is a really good one to implement when removing large timber from a tree. Uh, for example, removing a, a big pollard point. So, I've just set up the system here, just to briefly explain it. I'm trying to keep it simple. So what we've got is two pulley blocks. The first pulley block will actually be attached to the piece of wood that you're about to rig off. Then we've got the, the rigging line which is terminated and this is terminated just below where the face cut will be made and we've also got the second rigging block which, which will be terminated below where the face cut is going to be made. So you make your cuts and you knock out the piece of wood. So as it comes to rest you can see the system is clearly um, set up a two to one mechanical advantage system. Um, this means because it's a two to one that you've initially got a reduction in forces and because you've got the added uh, you've got an added pulley block in there you're spreading the force over the different components to share the load and you've also got uh, more rope in the system to help absorb the initial shock and to spread the weight um, but for more details on the field test results for double block rigging go to climbingarborist.com and go to the blog page So to start with, George has got himself in the tree in a nice comfortable position where he's ready to start setting up his rigging system. The first thing that George is going to do is to terminate the rigging line just below where he wants to make his first cut. Okay. The next step will be for Matt to tie on both rigging blocks and slings. George can hold these up and then connect them onto his harness. George will now take his first rigging block, tie this just above the terminated end of the rigging line, but this is still going to be just below where he's going to make his face cut. George will tie both of the rigging blocks on using the cow hitch. This allows him to get the block nice and tight up against the main trunk. Next, George will take the second rigging block and tie this on using a cow hitch also. This will be tied above where George is going to make the face cut. The next step in this system is to open up the rigging block below where the face cut will be and pass the rigging line through it. Okay, we'll get my saw on. At this point, George can call down for the saw because he's now ready to make his face cut. He hasn't put the rigging line through the upper pulley block yet because obviously it would be in the way of making the notch. The next stage in this process is to take a bite of the line between the termination end and the pulley block and take it up to the pulley block above the notch and feed it through. Before George makes his back cut he's just going to double check his system make sure everything is in order and then he can call down to Matt to put it on the porter wrap. So you must bear in mind when wrapping on the porter wrap that this system in theory only takes half of the load compared to the conventional rigging system. Once a piece of wood comes to rest, you can clearly see the rigging setup has created this two to one hauling system being used to lower the piece of wood. This means that you have more rope in the system in comparison to conventional rigging and in turn it also means it can absorb shock loading better. And because we have used two rigging blocks and slings and terminated the rigging line at the top of the tree, it means that the load has been shared among these different components. Thanks for watching and please remember to check back periodically at climbingarborist.com as we are always releasing new videos.